Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913 and we are let's play Chrono Trigger. In the last episode, we were in the Kingdom of Zeal, we explored the palace, and now we're going after Scala. And we are coming in here to meet the Queen. Scala, Dalton, and some other fellow. Some hooded fellow, your majesty, they are the evil dudes who have warned you of. How dare you think you can oppose me, you foreigners? You worse than the gurus! Fools! Dalton, take them away! Yes, ma'am, by your leave. Golem! If you had Isla's, uh... If you had Isla's charm here, you could totally steal a... <clears throat> you could totally steal a, uh... Yeah, this move sucks. You could totally steal a, um... What's it called? Haste? Oh, wowee. You can steal a power tonic tap thing. Alright, if you didn't kill Nadia first, that would have been nice. Alright, Nadia, can you go already, please? At least get haste on somebody. Yeah, so this guy, he's really tough right here. You can beat him, I'm gonna try to. You don't... You don't have to. Let's hit him with... Let's hit him with spin cut, damn it. Because if you hit him with an, a, a, an ability, right, then he copies your ability, and that's probably the best thing that could happen. God damn it. Let's haste myself. Let's revive Robo. So you just want to kind of hit him with physical attacks, because you can have him do other attacks, other spells like lightning and stuff, and he'll copy that, and that really sucks. Uh, no, 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 haste Robo. Don't hit Robo. Sure. This guy is being a toughie. If I could just get Robo hasted here, that would be nice. Oh, I should use Kono's life spell to show that off. Ah, oh, God. Yeah, so this uh, golem guy, he's fast. Very fast. And, uh, <clears throat> he's just powerful. That's probably why he's so tough right here, it's because he's so fast. I wish you would, yeah, there you go, hit him. Use it on him. But yeah, you can beat this guy. And like I said, you probably want to use physical attacks, I think. There you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can beat this guy. He's tough. It don't look like I'm going to do it, though, because apparently... Yeah, you know what? Screw it. You can beat him, though. You steal you can steal a power tab. Hell, if you steal a power tab, that's really all you need. Fear not, you won't die immediately, that is, by the time we're through with you, you'll be begging blah blah blah. What a delicious delicious diversion. So we died. And now we're imp apparently in some sort of prison that looks very identical to the mammon machine. Huh, idiots. What are they what, what will you do, Scala? Let us rescue them. I think it's useless. Besides, if they escape, you'll be in trouble. 
Don't worry about me. They just might be able to rescue the gurus. Oh, so who put the gurus away? The queen? I want to know. Are you alright? Quickly, escape from the palace. If you can, please rescue Mechlor. Or, whatever. Uncle Mel. He was sent to the Mountain of Woe for opposing the queen. Please, you have to help him. I'm afraid I can't allow that. Look who it is. It's, it's the prophet. Your meddling tires me. You'll just have to disappear. You mustn't. Stop. Oh, interesting. The kitty takes a liking to the prophet. I'll spare them. But in turn, you will cooperate, Scala. Now show me how you came here. You came through this here? Now, Scala, after I throw them in, I want you to seal the portal shut. No, you can't make me! Obey me, their lives are at stake. Oh, I alright. Oh, no. Oh, she... Worst thing you can do, put a pyramid on there. What about if you just undo it right now, Scala? He's not looking. Please forgive me. Now how are we supposed to save the gurus for Scala? There must be a way. Now we're back over here. Why did the prophet let us go? The key to defeating lavas must exist in that era. Wait a minute, I've seen the design on the doors and the pen and blah blah blah. Yes, so... You remember that, that place that we went to a while back? And we saw that weird guy with the new? And he was blabbling about Scala, wasn't he? Maybe he... Maybe he knows something we don't. Maybe we should check it out. Maybe we should do some questing. Let's check it out, Chrono. Alright, so... Now that we've done that... We're free to do a lot of things. Some side questing, actually. Treasure hunting, more like it. So let's come over here, and actually, there is something different going on here. Found strange rock, feel icky when touch shall throw away. Less monsters now. And, oh, it's again cold out. Huh, I wonder if the Ice Age... If Lavos is going to bring about the Ice Age. Burr, cold. Yeah, you guys, uh... You guys better bundle up. Because it's going to get cold out there. It's cold out there every day or something. Anyway, so these guys should have something new to set, sell. No, 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 no. No, I don't want to trade any shiny stone. I want to... There we go. I think these guys lo let me trade for something good here. Horn and a fang. No, feather. No. How about, uh... How about... <clears throat> fang and... and feather? I know we can get... No. Maybe it's later. If we come back to prehistoric era, we can actually... Let's see if Kino's around. There you are, Kino. What's up? Alright, maybe I will rest. But yeah, so we need to head to the future. And here's the... Uh... Yeah, and here's the... Uh, um... Whatever, the Labrora guys. The, uh, I don't know what you would call them. I forget their name. Anyways, we're, I'm just going to meet you back. Well, uh, yeah, I'll just meet you back in the end of time. All right, we are back at the end of time, and Isla finally learned charm. Now we can start stealing from enemies. Anyways, let's talk to you, sir. Ah, so you've been to the land of magic. Now the pillar of light is sealed. You'll be needing something that will transport you through time. I recall someone working on such a device. The wings of time, I believe he called it. 
I'm afraid he became a tad psychotic, spending so much of his time doing research. Interesting, Darby. How did you, how do you know of that? And I don't think Specchio's changed yet. No one's on 30. No. Nope. Alright, so we'll have to go look for him in the future. In which he, where he's at. But actually, I want to head to Medina Village. And I'm going to meet you in Heck, Heck, Heck Racken's Cave. Because now we can actually start checking out some of those uh, treasure chests. Actually, wait a minute. There's something in Medina Village that I can check out right now, I think. not mistaken and we can also check this place out because actually this place has changed a bit you can use magic magic humans blah 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 all right yeah the mystics they were the they were based they're basically ancestors of reptites and let's see who's over here now sir ozzy what the hell So these guys are still chanting and all that. What a bunch of jagoffs. They come over here. They still worship Ozzy statue in the village square. So apparently the mystics still are kind of bad. I wonder if Ozzy's still alive then. Anyways, if we come over here to the forest ruins and we use the pendant, it will actually open up this thing if you remember. If you remember correctly, in which I hope you do, um, <clears throat> this place was on Zeal. And now we can actually access it. Access the hell out of it. The seal has been broken. I will give you the treasure of the Guru of Reason. To the right is a weapon which increases strength. And to the left is a gear that will guard against your life. Choose whichever you feel, take whichever one you want. So you can only take one. And old man Bal is he's gone. So let's uh let's do this. And I'll show you what's over here, because ultimately I'm gonna take the other thing. And we get a swallow, which is a weapon for Chrono. It's fairly good, jeez, and it, and it brings up his speed very good. But actually, the other thing will be much better. Yeah, the other thing will be much better in the long run. And we get a safe helm, which automatically casts safe on your party. It cuts your physical damage by one third, so that's friggin' great, especially for now. Uh, yeah, Chrono can have it. I find the safe helm in the long run to be much better. So let's, uh, I'm gonna meet you back in the cave where we got the, uh, let's talk to Meckler. Can, can I tell, or old man Mel here, Uncle Mel. Can you help me out? You're, you know, you're sort of in the past or something. I don't know how. But anyways, I'm gonna go through here and go to that treasure and I'll meet you there. All right, we're back over here and let's, let's use our pendant to get this item. And we get a wall ring. Huh? There's something else in here. And we get the dash ring. Very cool. Alright, the wall ring, if I do remember correctly. Magic defense plus 10. Very nice. Speed plus 3. Sweet. Wow, Nadia's speed is awful. And let's give the, that to Robo. Wowee. But the wall ring brings up magic defense. That's very nice. So actually, now we're going to do some more, some more uh, exploring and treasure hunting. We. But first, let's let's stop over at, at Luca's uh, Luca's house and see if we can uh, see if we can talk with the dad here. Do you got any more? Oh. You don't got you don't have any more gear for Luca. So from here I'm gonna meet you back in the Middle Ages. Alright, we're back in the Middle Ages, and what I wanna do is come into the inn here. The truce inn, as we defeated Magus, and come over here and touch the box. Now what you wanna do here is 
Something is reacting to the pendant. Take the item. You do not want to take it right now. Just say no. What's going to happen is if you go into the future now and take that item, it will be a much better item than what it is right now. Okay? So basically, we're back here powering up. Oh, let's talk to your. I guess you're done with the bell here. But it'll, it will power up. Uh... Hooray for Guardia! Yeah, but um, it will have uh, it will power up the weapon or the uh, the item that's in the thing, and then we can come back here and get it anyways. So we'll get double the items. So truce in. Is there anything else? I know there might be some stuff in the in the castle there, and I'll just meet you there. Oh, there there's something over in the woods over here. Let's grab it, and we get a speed tab. All right, I'm giving that to Robo when I put him back in the group, and he'll be faster than dog shit. All right, we're back in the castle, and look, it's the the guard, the uh, frog. You were magnificent. I knew. How about making you Captain Knight? I'm afraid it's just not for me. Nonsense! You saved the day. I was just a cook. Yeah, we beat we beat Magus. Yep. Waste not such precious words on me. Frog! You teamed up with Crone on the others. You've done a fine job. Please remain as long as you wish. My heart is glad. Thank you, my liege. So, yes, they've accepted Frog into their heart. Yay. Don't want to pick up the treasures quite yet. Actually, we can't even get this stuff yet. So we don't want to take it out because, like I said, later... When we actually can go back to the kingdom, we can, uh, we can actually get something much greater. Much, much better. And, yeah, I'm just, let's see, I don't know if there's anything on the other side, but then I'm just gonna meet you, I think, the next area where I can go is Magus's cave? Or, uh, yeah, that one. <clears throat> no, and then, yeah, then there's a, there's a, isn't there a town, town or something? There's no one? Yeah, okay. So I'll just meet you back at the next area. Alright. Uh, we're over here at this town, which apparently will go away. And look, Fiona's home. Fiona, where's Shrek? Oh, Marco is your husband. Don't worry, I'm home for good. Good, and look, you got this sapling thing here. The desert monsters are draining all the life out of the soil here. This mystic seed couldn't divide the forest, but I can't plant too many hungry monsters lurking about. Interesting. So there's too many monsters, and yeah. We've got that over there, not cool. But yeah, let's go over... No, let's go to the town first. And yeah, we could go in here, but I'm not going to yet, because we're not even ready for that. Nothing. Nothing. But yeah, uh, eventually I will go back and talk to a lot of these people. They really don't change their tune after you beat uh, Magus, or at least on this part of the country. Listen to you, you're going around telling blah blah blah. Alright. Uh, let's see, I think you guys have something here. Yes, let's look at your things. Something is reacting new. And then... New! Alright, cool. We're done here. Let's go to Magus' thing, and then I'm going to meet you back in the present day of 1000 AD. All right, here we are, and we get a magic ring, which is very good. It brings up your magic quite a bit. Yeah, plus six. That's really good. Let's give it right to Nadia. She could use more magic. Anyways, like I said, I'll meet you in present day. All right, we're here at the Truce Inn. Here to pick up this box here that has been working 
for 4,000 or 400 years, the blue vest powers up to a blue male. Yay! Blue male. So what is blue male? Blue male is armor that absorbs water hits. And the blue vest will actually 50% uh, water hits. So, yeah, all the ele all, all the items that we're going to be getting are elemental. Are going to be elemental stuff. So, that was the thing that we can get there. And look, the poor forest is all gone. No forest. Let's go down to the Truce Inn. Or the Mayor's Manor down here. With my husband, we're... we're I wish my husband were a little less generous. If you remember, in the beginning of the game when I came here, the husband was very, uh, was very greedy, and now he's all about sharing. As we just gave the, uh, the items to, or the jerky to the mom without even asking for a reward. And the white vest powers up, and it's now a white male. And the black vest powers up and it's a black male. So these are going to be good to use when you want to absorb uh, various um, <clears throat> elemental uh, stuff. So now you can actually go back to and pick up all those vests. Which I think I'm just going to do off screen. And in the next episode I am we're going to head to the future. And collect the rest of, uh, or continue our treasure quest. So this has been Kenshin1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.